I know you love this. Proverbs 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy way, acknowledge him, and he shall break thy heart quickly. Trust is reliance on the integrity, strength, ability, surety of a person, thing or person or thing, confidence, confident expectation of something whole. Lean means to incline or bend from a vertical position to incline as in a particular direction or slash position. Acknowledge, to recognize the rights and authority uh, status of a person. Uh, there's some words that we use in church, and I close the Bible, so you, you, you know that. That we use, and some of these words uh, we use is like, God is good and he's good all the time. Or oh, we talk about God's authority, he's omnipotent, he's omnipresent. And every now and then we will say these words are, 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 are words to tickle our ego, or words, uh, uh, we call them, uh, what do we call these words though? We call it good Christian words. Try to find the other word. Because we say these things sometimes and people not know the depth of where we coming from with these words. But, but for a person who is walking with God, who has been walking with the Lord, who is going through something, or who has been through some things, know what it is to, to say these words that God is good and is good all the time. Because when you are going through some things, when you are facing some things, and when God brings you through or brings you out, these are not just good Christian cliches. These are, that's the word I'm trying to find. It's more than that. When my back is against the wall, Sister Michelle, when I do not know where to go or who to turn to, no God becomes my Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. It's not just good Christian cliche. This is something that I'm living out. This is something that I'm not going through. This is something that I'm not experiencing. When the rent or the mortgage can't pay and the landlord gives you a time limit and when you do not know who to turn to, because no one else can fix it, but when Jehovah Jireh comes here like a mighty army and delivers you, now these words are not just good Christian cliches. There's something that's now alive in your life and in your heart. You're now experiencing the mighty hands of God. So now when I stand and say, God, He's good and He's good all the time. It's coming from all of experience. It's coming from the bottom of my heart. I know what I'm talking about. He is my deliverer. He's my source of survival. He's my strength. He's my hope. And God Almighty is good all the time. And that's why I love Him so much. So here, Solomon is saying, lean not unto thine own understanding. Do not lean on your strength. Don't lean on your wisdom. Your strength will fail you. But lean on the one who cannot fail. I hear somebody say that he's a solid rock. He's a rock of ages. He's a shelter in the time of storm. That's the God we are serving. So he says, you can't lean on your own understanding. Your strength will fail you. Trips you up every time. Make a mess of your life. But when you lean on Jesus Christ, the one who's able to keep you from falling, I'm here to tell you today, you will make it. You will make it through. Do not lean on to your own understanding. But in all of your ways, acknowledge him. Put your confidence in him. Put your hope in him. Put your trust in the man who's able to fix it. For you. Yes. And then he says, you should acknowledge who he is. Yes. His authority. Yes. The sovereignty of God. Yes. God is great, hallelujah. And he's greatly to be praised. Yes. And so when you are going through, when we are going through, somebody said, put your hands. And I'm doing it in the hands of the man that stills the water. Yes. Do not lean on to your own understanding. But in all of your ways, acknowledge who you have come from. I hear the psalmist David say, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help, Pastor. My help cometh from God, who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Lean not unto thine own understanding. Self is a failure. Self cannot stand up. But when I trust in Jesus, I hear the writer says, trust him, trust him. Only trust him. If we can only take him by his words, it might not look good now. It might not sound good right now.
right now. The doctors may give a bad report, but Jesus says, I'm your healer. I sent your words. Lean on him this morning, church. Lean on the arms of God. You might be facing job situation, whatever you're going through. The boss might give you a few more weeks on the job, but lean on to God, the one who's able to keep you, the one who can provide for you. He is our reason for living. He's our source of survival. He's our all in all. So Solomon says, you cannot lean onto your own understanding. Doesn't matter how much degree you have. Five and a half minutes, I'm right here. Cannot lean on your ability. Cannot lean on your looks. Or your prestige. Or your brightness. Or your countenance. Or whatever you may have. He said, lean on Jesus. Lean on him. Bent over. When somebody lean on something, that means you're trying to get support. When a person lean on her, her crutches, she's trying to get support from those two pieces of sticks. Jesus said, lean on me. I'm able to keep you up. Cast your cares upon me. I'm able to bear you up. He said, come take my yoke and learn of me. For my yoke is easy. And the burden is light. So lean on Jesus. He can keep your weight up. My God, he will never bend beneath the load of care. He's strong. He's able. He can do it again. He can bring you through. So no matter what you're going through this morning. No matter what. And this International Sunday, stand with me. Yes. Everybody, I'm here to tell you this morning. Yes. The no Shalaman says, no lean not. Sister Carol, lean, lean not unto thine own understanding. Lean but in all of thy ways, uh, acknowledge him, yes. and he shall direct thy path. How many this morning is leaning on Jesus? Yes. What a fellowship, what a joy divine.